Many patients with autoimmune disease are recommended to take a biologic or a high-powered immune suppressing drug and when they take it they don't actually get better what they notice is that their disease process flares or gets worse. Is this you? Have you experienced that and wondered why? Today I want to use a case that's real from my office of a 20 year old male suffering from both psoriasis and ulcerative colitis who experienced what you experienced. Biologics make him worse. We're going to dive into mechanisms as to why that's occurring and how he should be treated differently and perhaps you should be treated differently. I'm Dr. John Bartimus and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. If a medication works or doesn't work, that's a clue to underlying physiology. If a supplement works or doesn't work, that's a clue to underlying physiology. Why? Because drugs target a certain mechanism of action. So if we know the mechanism of action they're seeking to target and we know that the drug works for a person or doesn't work for a person, that is a key piece to their underlying physiology that we can leverage. In the same way, many supplements work or don't work based on certain mechanisms. So if I, as the physician, am giving a supplement to target a certain physiologic mechanism and it helps the person or doesn't help the person, that's very useful feedback and a very useful clue about their underlying physiology and allows us to then say, okay, how can we address it a different way? And so if you are someone suffering from autoimmune disease who has been recommended a biologic, or any medication or supplement really, and it hasn't worked for you, then what we need to understand is what is the pharmacology behind that medication or behind that supplement? What is the mechanism of action in physiology that it targets? And why isn't it helping you? And by doing that mental work, we can figure out how to help you. Let's look at a real case to show you what I mean. This is a 20-year-old male with psoriasis and ulcerative colitis. A little bit of history is he had psoriasis first, was recommended Enbrel, and after his first treatment with Enbrel, within four days developed massive diarrhea and ultimately an ulcerative colitis diagnosis. Ever since, the physicians he's been working with have been trying to use biologics to treat his autoimmune diseases. They've used Enbrel, Humira, they've used Antivio, and they've used Stelera. And every time they've used one of them, it doesn't matter which one, it's made his psoriasis worse and it's made his ulcerative colitis no better. So the net effect was the drug was worse for him or he reacted poorly. So what we want to understand is what is the mechanism of action of each of these drugs then that may reveal to us a clue about his case. Well, it turns out that each of these medications are biologics, and the Enbrel and Humira medications block tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF-alpha. Excuse me. They are TNF-alpha inhibitors. TNF-alpha is a chemical, or not chemical, but substance produced in your body that is pro-inflammatory. It gets the immune system working and says, hey, we need to go to battle here. So by blocking that, the mechanism is they want to block TNF-alpha because TNF-alpha drives inflammation and these autoimmune diseases are pro-inflammatory. So the thinking is if we block TNF-alpha, we'll decrease inflammation and decrease tissue damage, flares, and disease process. The problem is in this person, giving these medications makes the psoriasis worse. And TVO, targets integrins at the mucosal barrier and integrins function in the immune system to help prevent pathogen invasion. And Stelera targets interleukin-12 and interleukin-23, which again are immune communication molecules that help the immune system mount a robust response against viruses or a robust response against infections in the gut, sinus, lungs, or liver. So again, each of these made the psoriasis worse. 
What can we conclude from that? Well, essentially, these four medications are suppressing the immune system's ability to mount an anti-pathogen or anti-infection response. Hmm. If we block the immune system's ability to fight infections and we get worse, what is that doing? It seems like it's allowing the infection to take hold and bloom out and drive more inflammation and more damage. So another nugget to this case is that probiotics also flare him. So probiotics could go over on this side and come out here as a negative. Now why would that be? Probiotics are good bacteria. Well, if you give a probiotic and the person is worse, what that's telling us is the probiotic is likely making it inside the body deeper than it should, meaning the person probably has intestinal permeability or a leaky gut barrier, and microbes are entering the body that shouldn't. Whether they're a probiotic or a pathogen, that's going to mount an immune response and more inflammation and potentially flare. So the fact that the probiotic makes him worse tells us there's probably intestinal permeability going on. Well, this person saw another doctor and said, well, why don't we give you some antifungal medications? So they gave him Diflucan and Nystatin, and guess what? Those make the psoriasis better. So there's an example of knowing drug pharmacology and saying, if the biologics aren't working and they're suppressing the immune's ability to fight infection and making them worse, if we assist the immune system in fighting an infection and give them antimicrobials and that helps, well then that would tell us there's an infectious component to this person's disease process. And as far as the psoriasis goes, we know that there is a gut-skin axis, meaning gut dysbiosis or gut infection can promote skin disease and disorders, aka psoriasis. Well, we have a, we have a gut infection because it's empirically responding to antimicrobials, and we know the gut is inflamed because of the ulcerative colitis, so both of those would promote a gut-skin axis mechanism for worsening of the psoriasis. So I hope what you can see, I hope you've had the aha moment and the light bulb go off for you to see that the, the answer is in hidden in plain sight. If you know the drug mechanism, you may be able to tease out why it's not working. In this case, these drugs inhibit the immune's ability to mount a robust enough response to fight infection, thereby promoting the infection or making it, allowing it to be chronic and more persistent, thereby flaring and worsening the autoimmunity. When we give antifungal specifically, in this case, it knocks down the infection and allows the flare to come down or allows the disease process to be slowed down or stopped. So the take home, remember, if a medication works or doesn't work, if a supplement works or doesn't work, the take home is we need to clean up the gut, improve the gut barrier so we're no longer reacting to our allies, and then improving the gut barrier and improving the immune system will allow us to better fight the infection without exogenous help. So we don't actually need to suppress immunity in this case. We need to promote appropriate immunity and appropriate barrier defenses. And in that way, we can clear infection. We can stop shooting self or attacking self and only attack enemies. Stop the flare, halt promotion of the autoimmune processes, and return to a life at optimal.